I'm Scott L. Miller. It is the 29th of January, 2022. This is the Sheep Gardening Llama vlog coming to you from Cholitos in Las Penitas, Nicaragua at sunset. I'm gonna turn around real quickly and get a little bit of this gorgeous early sunset view coming in. Look at that. Oh yeah. This is awesome. All right, today is Saturday, and this morning I had lots of video work to do. I uh, had this long uh, video. I'm gonna link, I'm sure, at the end of this video. I uh, did a long sunset last night here on the beach on the GoPro. Got four, absolutely gorgeous. I got some with the Olympus as well. Got them on different channels. Uh, the My little vacation travel channel of my tidbits is getting the one from the Olympus, but I got an hour-long video off of the GoPro. It looks fantastic and I'm going to be putting that on the Simple Beach channel, which doesn't exist yet, or it exists, but no one is using it yet. There's nothing been posted on it. That will go up to this morning, and hopefully I'll be able to share it out later today. Uh, it's going to take a while for YouTube to process that one, but please go like and subscribe. Not just this channel, if you haven't already, please do that here, but head over and check out the Simple Beach. That is our hotel and restaurant. Check out the video. It's an hour long. It's got it's nice music, beautiful views. Watch at least a little bit of it, like and subscribe so you can follow along with the restaurant news. We're going to be posting like uh, food pictures and event stuff and videos of the sunsets and, and all the stuff here and any improvements we're doing. We want it to be kind of a kind of an informational channel um, because we do a lot here, a lot of menu item changes, a lot of new things, um, and we want to be able to uh, put that in as well. But a shout out to Chilitos, who's just opened and is just starting to serve here uh, while I'm doing the video, so they all wave to me as I started right across the street. So all morning was pretty much just doing some uh, work for that and for a customer. I did a several many hours for a customer uh, that I had not been expecting. So it was probably about four hours of my morning. Originally, I was planning on heading up to Managua early today uh, and, and and having a bit of time um, to hang out and do things. And that got shifted a lot. And so I'm heading up to Managua much later in the day than I had anticipated. Although with the number of times this happens, I should start to anticipate that a customer will call me even on the weekend and I'll never get to go anywhere. That just happens way too much. But so today, Today, I ran up and I took the minibus, the UCA bus, which is actually the Universal, University of Central America. No idea why they have the bus systems, and apparently I got some explanation that I haven't had a chance to listen to yet. I will try to get back to you on that. But they're the minibuses. They're uh, Toyota Hilux, and they seat like, I think, 15. Um, and they only cost $2, 70 cord to go from Leon to Managua or vice versa. And it's the it's the easiest thing. It's way easier than even the Chinandega bus that I did a week or two ago. Um, just a tiny bit more expensive, I think, but but for how far it goes, it's I can't even figure out how they do it. Um, with 15 people on the bus, that's only $30 for one direction. They have to have a driver. This takes at least 90 minutes, and they do drive fast. It's unreal how quickly they do the trip. I was, you know, when we drive with a taxi, it takes over two hours, two and a quarter hours or so, um, and it can take as much as pushing three, uh, probably two and three quarters, uh, but that's kind of the window. But this bus does it in between like 90 minutes and about 110 minutes, it seems like. They fly, they pass everyone, they're at full speed, cops don't stop them, don't even look twice, they just, whoa! And, uh, you know, they don't stop for gas or anything like that, it just goes. That was so, so easy. I just got in and sat in the middle and had my backpack uh, and totally relaxed. Like that was just the easiest thing it's gonna be. Now, instead of going in daylight, like I had hoped, I went in the dark, which made it a little bit more complicated because I didn't know exactly what I was doing, but I was able to get off the bus, not even at the terminal, walk to where I needed to go, did all, my, like it was just easy. Easy, easy, easy. I'm going to be doing Managua trips much more frequently now because it's been $100 every time we go to Managua, um, which is when we need to for shopping and stuff, perfect. But for just like going into, you can't do that for something casual. Like that's awful. Um, but this, I mean, we could take the whole family for $10, right? Like that's crazy. Uh, and next weekend we have to go to Managua. I don't know if we're taking the bus next weekend, but maybe we will. Maybe this is just so easy that we'll do it. Uh, but Dominica probably can't do the bus because it moves really fast and she gets woozy in those things. You don't have any control over your, your air or anything. So I don't know when she'll be able to do it, especially on a long distance one where she'd be trapped for quite some time. Uh, but we are, we have to go to Managua to deal with our residency paperwork next weekend, our visas. And we are going to go to the Gato, Gato Negro Teatro, uh, which is the 
Black Cat Theater. They are doing Man of La Mancha, the musical, uh, in the city, and we're planning on going, and I really want to see that. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to go do that in Managua, so fingers crossed that we get to uh, get to do that. Um, and that, I don't know if the kids are gonna go see that or what. Originally, I was just gonna go, but Yvonne wants to go, and then Dominica wants to go, and I think Paul might wanna go, and maybe the kids wanna go, but it's in Spanish, so I don't know who's gonna wanna go once they really think about it. <laughs> but it should be fun. I Man of La Mancha is a good show. Um, so, rode the bus, that went really, really well, and met up with friends, uh, and the original plan was to um, go to a concert tonight, but I got there, I didn't get to eat lunch and stuff like I'd wanted, so got there and immediately ran out for food, went to Pane y Vino uh, in Los Robles, the place I always go to, uh, because I, I can't get often enough out to get salmon pasta, so I'm always craving it by the time I get back, and it's like, where do we want to go for dinner? Um, I want salmon pasta, let's go to Pana y Vino. So we do. Uh, and they have really good sangria too. So it's perfect. I've uh, got good seats, hung out. Um, a, a bunch of people joined us. We had like a little party, it was cool. Uh, the game was supposed to be over by the time I got there. This is the game six of the series, is Leon versus Rivas. They're in Leon tonight, which I really wish I had not come out because I could have stayed and gone to the game. No one went because I wasn't there. Um, but we didn't know there was gonna be a game and like this was the concert, we already like made plans. Um, so, uh, so did not get to go to the game, which would have been really cool to see because you'll find out in a minute, it, but it was exciting. Um, but, uh, so at the restaurant, I kept getting texts from Alan that, you know, everything that was going on with the game and what the score was and how close it was and how nerve-wracking it was. And so finally I grabbed the waiter because they had boxing on on the TVs at the at the restaurant. First of all, why? Why are there always TVs at fancy restaurants in Nicaragua? That drives me crazy. I mean, the U.S. does that sometimes too, and I hate it. But here it's everywhere. The, the music, it's dance music and sports everywhere. Like, you never go out for a fancy thing and don't still have dance music and sport, it's weird. Um, that's one, and that drives me crazy, because in most circumstances, I mean, I love dance music, I don't really like sports, I never want to see a TV when I'm eating unless it's something really special going on. Um, but in this particular case, it worked out, and I'm like, can you put the baseball game on? Like, this is the national finals for Nicaragua, and instead they had, like, American boxing on or something stupid, and <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. So they switched it for me. It ended up going to, I believe, 14 innings for this game. It just went on and on and on, but in the end, Leon won. So there's a game tomorrow, Sunday, in Managua, because it's the seventh one. They don't do it, they want to do it centrally, and Managua is directly in between the two teams, and it is the biggest, for obvious reasons, the biggest stadium in the country. So we had already talked about it. If Leon won tonight, everyone is coming out to Managua tomorrow. I'm spending the night uh, and not taking the bus back tonight. We don't even know if there is a bus back tonight. We're trying to figure that's all. Just figure it out as you go. That's part of the fun of Central America is you just do things and find out what your options are later. So everyone's arranging to come out and meet uh, in the morning uh, to go to the game. So everything's changing. It's a Managua weekend instead of just a figuring out the bus trip. Uh, so once we found that out, it was like, this is awesome, very cool. Headed out to the concert, which was right around the corner from the restaurant, which is kind of why uh, Pane Vino worked out. Otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, I really want the salmon pasta, but let's go someplace convenient. Um, but it was right next door to the concert. So we went to the concert at the French Alliance. It's a weird venue. I mean, it, the building was normal, but like I can't figure out what makes it the French Alliance, and uh, the whole thing was strange. Anyway, uh, went to the concert. First band, we didn't see all of them. There are three bands. First one, we caught just the end. They seemed like they were good. The second one was pretty good. The crowd really liked it. The third one, I would say, was pretty bad. They had a few songs that were okay. They weren't like bad, bad, but they weren't I, someone I'd want to sit through a concert for. Um, and there was lots of dead time in between the bands. It was pretty boring. Everybody agreed. It was boring. It wasn't the most exciting crowd. Crowd. Um, but you know, it was cool. It was a different thing to do. I'm glad I did it. Like there's all these, you know, different cultural experiences and things and, and I'm learning to be Nicaraguan, right? Like it's, 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 everything's different. And I don't even know what a concert like this would be like here. I don't know that much of what it would be like in the United States, right? But, 
uh, it, very, very different um, type of thing and neat to see um, that segment of Nicaraguan society enjoying it. It was a lot of uh, students um, and a very, very modern art kind of uh, vibe um, and stuff you would have seen in the U.S. 15 years ago. Like, it's all... It, it's interesting. It was, it was certainly interesting, but not not the best concert. Um, from there, though, we, we kind of left as quickly as we could kind of justify getting out of there uh, and then went to uh, back to the main drag in Los Robles, right down from uh, uh, Pane y Vino, went to Gara and went dancing for the rest of the night um, at the big club there. That was a lot of fun, um, exhausting. I was definitely tired and would have been happy not going dancing, but I'm glad we went dancing. I didn't have, I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow until the game now. So uh, suddenly there's time. Um, I don't have to worry about getting back to Leon tonight or anything. So that was, uh, that was a lot of fun um, and good exercise several hours. Probably went dancing for four hours uh, and uh, had a nice time. And I've been wanting to go out in Los Robles to go dancing on the strip because we've gone, um, Paul and I have gone previously, but not dancing. We just went to the clubs earlier in the day and like watched sports. Um, there was a, the US Nicaragua uh, boxing match back in March and we went there and we all go out to dinner there at different times. Um, it's a good place to get food. Our hotel is like the Hotel Los Robles that we often stay at is right across the street. And just down at the bottom of the hill is the Hilton Princess. So everybody, all of us in every situation, even the kids use this little strip of Los Robles all the time. But And we always see these packed clubs and all the dance stuff going on, but we never stop and do it ourselves. So today I uh, checked that out. So a whole bunch of new things today. Um, having the uh, Leon baseball team going to game seven, um, getting tickets for the national final tomorrow for the final final game seven, um, taking the bus into the big city. Uh, and it's different. The last bus I did, you buy tickets at a booth and then you get a token and you give the token on the bus. This one going to Managua, you just get on the bus and just pay on the road. Um, so they actually get moving and then collect the money or whatever. So you just hop in the, so you see a bus, you just jump into it. Uh, really easy. I mean, I can't imagine it being easier, right? And the bus says, Leon, Managua, that's it. Yeah, and it's a, it's a Hilux. So you just get into this giant van, find any available seat and they come around and say, pay, and you hand them 70 cord and off you go. <laughs> and that's it. It's so easy. Um, so very, very happy with that. And uh, and the concert and that whole thing. Um, and going out dancing in Los Robles. It was a good day. I will see all of you tomorrow for game seven of the Nicaragua National Baseball Grand Finale. Leon versus Rivas in Managua.